Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Nina Chilap and uh, me along with my team uh, are going to present uh, projects under Akash Application Development Group. So my team consists of first uh, me, Nina, then I have Arun over there and Ajay, Mitali. These are the projects under our group, Classroom Interaction App which will be given by me and then we have uh, Akash Online Tech Support System Extension which will be presented by Amul and then we have analysis of EDX data which will be presented by Pushpak. So let us start with uh, classroom interaction app. So what is classroom interaction? Any one of you? Yeah, right to make some communication and all. So what is the exact problem? What is the problem with that system? Like, uh, like look at this classroom, it is very huge classroom. If I ask that girl to say, uh, say a question, ask a question or say some answer or something, the guy, over, guy sitting over here will not be able to hear that. It won't be that audible. It may be depending on your power, like you, if you can speak so loud. <laughs> so that is the one problem. So in IIT Bombay, we have mics. So we can just transfer that mic over there and then she can speak and it will be audible. And then there is a problem like it is time consuming. Like after you, this guy asks a question, wants to ask a question. That mic need to be transferred from there to this person. So it is kind of time consuming. So we came up with the idea of classroom interaction app. So what exactly is this app? Like it is a student teacher interaction in classroom using Akash tablet built in microphone and front camera. So I will just show you the UI what exactly we are planning. So first a student need to uh, type his name like uh, she will type, his, uh, type her name and then uh, a photo will be clicked by front camera. And then she will press that uh, center button and it will, there will be a server with the uh, server which will connect it to the speakers and that server will be with the uh, professor over there. And then after that when you press that button, the server will get notification that uh, the, uh, the person with that name is asking a question. Similarly, there are, if there are 10, 15 students, each and every one of them can ask at the same time, raise their hand, we call it a raise your hand. So person can raise their hand and then uh, there will be a list of all the students over there. So a professor wants that this person should ask the question, he will just click on that, okay. She should, she should ask the question. She will get a notification, you can start speaking or you can ask a question. So then she will start and the entire classroom will be able to hear because that uh, server, the, the uh, tablet will be connected to the server and the, uh, through via server, the speakers are connected. So everyone will be uh, able to hear and that time each and every uh, each and every tablet at that time will be in a waiting mode as soon as that will be finished so the other person in the queue will get the chance to uh, ask a question and he can even withdraw at any point of time like uh, two person are having same question so if that question has been asked the other person okay that question has been solved my doubt has been solved so he will just do he will just do that he will just uh, cancel the cancel is not okay it's my turn and the, the her name or his name will be removed from the list automatically. So this is our app classroom interaction. So next I would like to call upon Amul to continue with the presentation. Good evening each and everyone. First of all the basic idea behind developing a portal on Akash tech support is I would like to brief you in some few points. We have distributed around 90,000 tablets all across India. So taking the queries related to a tablet on the phone is very difficult and tiresome and for that we require a call center. So we are not here for setting up a call center. So we thought of developing a portal for Akash tech support where queries will be taken from the remote centers all across India. They will uh, register their tablet on the website and they will submit the issues related to the tablet and the queries will be solved through email or through phone call. So currently we have developed one system rather portal it's a ticket based system. So uh, the user can uh, register their tablet on the website. Then a ticket will be generated and their uh, fault will be solved within next 48 hours. That is the system we follow here. Then we have on the portal we have put a discussion forum where a student can post their queries, can post a solution which we, we also don't know. Because tablet is a one of its kind, Akash tablet. So plus auto generated mail. So once a student or a faculty uh, register the complaint, register the complaint, so they will get an email on their 
respective email stating that your query will be solved in next 48 hours plus we have provided FAQs where all the solutions what we have come across we have provided that and the technology behind the portal is currently we are planning to develop uh, more sophisticated portal so currently we, are, we have used Joomla, HTML5, PHP and for database we have used MySQL now the new features which we are going to put into that portal is SMS service where the person has to register their mobile number with us so they will get, a, get an e, uh, SMS stating that your query has been registered with us so you, your query will be solved plus statistical and graphical representation of the faults we have classified around 10 faults in the tablets so that has been classified on the website portal so according to the po according to the fault the, the, there will be a graphical representation on the portal plus a new feature of chat application there will be providing a chat application along with the video chat if possible and for the, that we require technology like Django and Python I will uh, take you through the web portal this is the portal we have developed so the student has to go on this portal then he has to register the tablet there he has to put his email id and the tablet id without tablet id the portal won't work for him once he register his tablet he has to again go on the web portal and log in there with the email id so once he logs into the portal he can see FAQ discussion submit issues and view issues in submit issues he has to launch his complaint see these are the faults we have identified in the tablet so the student has to click on the fault which is facing currently so once he clicks on the fault he has to type some text there uh, briefly stating his fault what he is facing in the tablet once he submit the fault a ticket will be generated then FAQs what I said previously we have provided the questions along with the solution these are the solutions we have provided then discussion forum right now we don't have any discussion here and there you can see your ticket number date created when you have submitted your query and the status and subject and department that's it from my end I will call Pushpak to continue okay hi everyone my name is Pushpak uh, I'm a master student here uh, in computer science uh, I'm here to talk about edX data analytics um, so uh, edX is a uh, open source MOOC like course uh, developed jointly by IIT Bombay and in edX we collect uh, various kind of data uh, related to the users so it can be of uh, the courses the students data and also the log data which is basically the user behavior Um, so uh, edX data analytics is basically to use this data and try to make sense of it uh, so uh, can we the challenge is can we use the data to determine if two if two students are copying off each other if a student is uh, engaging into off task behavior or trying to game the system um, when students give uh, feedback about a particular course can we make more effective uh, sense out of those of, out of that feedback um, so these are some of the questions that we'll try to uh, analyze and try to answer using uh, the data that we collect from edX um, but this is more of a research kind of project uh, which is not a software development project uh, the technology that we use is uh, Hadoop for analyzing big data and uh, we also use Hive uh, and for doing machine learning we use uh, various toolkits such as RapidMiner and Weka Um, so uh, to do this project, uh, to be a part of this project, so once you come uh, inside the project, we'll give you a, a more detail of what it is. But uh, you should be good in uh, writing SQL queries because Hive is very similar to SQL, and you should have a good background of probability and statistics. And any background in machine learning would be great. So any, anyone having a background in machine learning or artificial intelligence, data mining. 
Okay. So um, once you actually join the project, we'll give you a more detail of what the project actually is. Okay. So who's next? 